Hey, hi, hello. I am currently in Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi, no wait, someone tell me the right way to say it. Ho Chi, Ho Chi Minh, previously known as Saigon. But we're not talking about that today. We're gonna talk about that another day. Today we're talking about Amsterdam. I don't really remember what I recorded. It was like four months ago. So I'm gonna edit it and we're gonna find out together what I recorded and I'm gonna do a voiceover and talk about things if I'm not talking in the videos. Let's roll the footage. So, I left my friend Miles behind and took a train from London to Amsterdam. The train ride was great, and then I arrived in Amsterdam. When I arrived, I walked out of the train station and called a cab while I stood unknowingly on a bike path. Of course, people on bicycles and motorcycles drove all around me, yelling out things in Dutch, most likely profanities, understandably, while I attempted to give my Dutch cab driver directions to where I was. And you know what those directions were? I said I'm near the bikes because I was an Amsterdam noob, okay? I mean, I'm still pretty noobish about Amsterdam, but I'm less noobish now. Anyone who has been to Amsterdam knows bikes are everywhere. Everywhere. They, they really like bikes there. They dig it. They like bikes. I'd never seen anything like it before. The bike paths in America are a joke compared to these bike paths. Anyhow, I stayed in a very pretty and peaceful Airbnb that was right outside of Amsterdam city center. It was right next to this place that I am not going to attempt to say right now because I never once said it correctly during my stay there. Not even once. I tried many times. I could not say it right but this is the place. I would walk from my Airbnb on the waterfront into this place that I can't pronounce and was able to take the tram from there into the city center as needed. Their tram system is super hooked up. So if you ever stay there, definitely take the trams. They're cheap, timely, and efficient. They just go everywhere. They go everywhere you need to go. They're great, take the trams. So what do we all know about Amsterdam? Okay, I know what we know, you know what we know, but there's more to it than this. Did you know that they also have great Cheese? I didn't know that. Did you know that? Look at this cheese place. This cheese place was lit off the hook. Other words that I can't get away with saying. What am I even doing? Also, Amsterdam has delicious chocolate. And I am quite the fan of chocolate, so I do not mind that at all. Plus, did you know not too far away from Amsterdam is a flower freaking haven? It's called Kuchenhof. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'm trying. And I'm pretty sure I've never taken so many damn photos of flowers in my life. Because yes, I am a girl that loves chocolate and flowers, okay? I am the definition of basic. Get over it and just watch these freaking beautiful flowers. Wasn't that lovely? Yes, it was. All right. I also met up with a nice local Dutch man. Can you say what you're just saying? So here we see the Amstel Hotel. It's a very famous hotel where a lot of uh, celebrities are staying. And uh, this is the Amstel, the canal. Uh, the biggest canal is here in uh, the Netherlands. Nice. How do you say it? Vondel Park? Vondel Park. Vondel Park. This is like their central park. Is it, how big is it? Is it a, it's not as big as Central Park, no, right? No, if you run, it's, I believe it's three kilometers. Pretty. All right, so I think that about sums up my Amsterdam experience. And oh, 
Wait. You probably want to know about my experiences with the hookers and the drugs, right? Because of course I had mad hookers and drugs all up in my grill, since I can't get that legally in the good old US of A. Well, here's how that went. As for the prostitutes, the closest I got was just wandering around the red light district with my local Dutch friend and just having a look. As you can see, none of the footage or photos you're looking at right now are of the red light district. And that is because it's frowned upon, maybe even illegal, I don't know, I should probably look that up, but I think just frowned upon to walk around and record in that district. Because the ladies of the night present themselves in the windows. So I'd basically be posting pornography right now if I had that footage. Sorry if you were looking for that. That's not what we're about here, okay? Go somewhere else. There are other places for that. Not here, move it along. Anyhow, it was just a quick 10 minute walk to see what it was all about and that was it. And yes, it was pretty surreal. What it kind of felt like was walking around the Las Vegas Strip when people hand over photos of naked ladies to you basically offering them to you, I suppose. But the difference is the ladies are right there in front of you, in the flesh, well, behind a glass, but still right there for you to look at and decide, do I want that one or not? Another difference is the ladies are in charge of offering themselves over. It's not somebody else finding people for them. It's just them standing in the windows, offering themselves out to the world and deciding who they will and won't take as clients. And to be honest, I think that's the way it should be. I mean, if prostitution is gonna be a thing at all, that's how it should be. Now, the drugs. Yes, we all know the marijuana and the mushrooms are available for purchase here. My first day there, I realized the internet in where I was staying in my Airbnb wasn't so great. And I asked the host of my Airbnb if there was a coffee shop nearby that I can get some good internet. She was like, oh, a cafe. I'm sure there's a cafe. Yeah, let me see if there's a cafe. And she like kept saying cafe and I, was like, and I kept saying coffee shop. And then I realized what a coffee shop is. And if you don't know, that's where they sell the pot the marijuana yes so she kept purposely being like a cafe you mean i was like yeah a coffee shop show me where the coffee shop is <laughs> don't eat the space cakes don't do it i'm telling you do not do it or do it i don't care do whatever you want but i would not do it again anyway thank you for watching this video thank you for sticking around and being on my channel and part of my life and travel this was just a quick little recap and we are going to talk about Amsterdam some more next week in a different way, in a different format. I'm just figuring this out as I go, honestly. So there's gonna be these summary videos. Maybe I'll write a blog about Amsterdam. Maybe, maybe you should go check out my blog. Okay, that's it, I'll see you next week. Welcome to the End Slate, our favorite place, maybe. I don't know, I'm just saying words because I wanna say things while you're deciding what you wanna click on. I highly recommend the video on the top maybe or the one in the middle or the one on the bottom they are all good fun fact i got this shirt at the very first vidcon what yes i'm an og 